And then open your arms wide as if you're on a cross. Feet together, knees together, just drop the knees all the way down to your right. And then come back to the center and drop the knees all the way down to the left. And just being aware of those first awakening stretches. And we do that one more time, feet together, knees together, dropping the knees to the right. And perhaps draw the knees a little bit closer towards your arms, so you just feel a different stretch. And then come back to the center and left stretch. And again, maybe draw the knees up a little bit closer to that arm and find that deeper stretch. And then slowly back to the center. Take your arms down by the side of your bodies now and lift your arms all the way up over your shoulders, touching the floor behind you, working into the shoulders. Now, if your hands don't touch the floor, don't be concerned. Go as close as you can or open your arms much wider and that might help. And then exhale the hands all the way down by the side of your body. We're going to do three more. Inhale is the lift. Stretching it out. Exhale down. A nice controlled, slow stretches. Inhale, lift. Exhale down. Let's have one more. Inhale, lift. And exhale down. Now bring both knees over your chest. Pop your hands around your knees and just have a little roll around on that little back. Check out how it's feeling today. And then hands down by the side of the body and both legs go straight up to the ceiling. Toes to nose, heels to ceiling. So have a nice straight legs, hamstrings. Knees to chest, lengthen up. Put your toes to your nose and the heels to the ceiling. Achilles stretch into the chest again. And one more, lengthen up. And then draw the knees into the chest. Keep the knees over the chest. We're going to do arms and legs simultaneously. So exactly the same movement with the arms. Inhale up, stretch the legs. Exhale, knees to chest, hands down the other side of the body. So go with your own flow. We're going to do four more. And then this is the last one. And we draw those knees into the chest again. So going on that first stretch that we very uh, had at the beginning, arms open wide. We're going to keep the knees over the chest. This time we're going to go into the abdominals. So just drop the knees to the right, but don't land. Just a hover. Back to the center. Drop the knees to the left and hover. Back to the center, to the right, and hover. Back to the center, and to the left, and hover. We're going to do two more. Some of you may want to stretch the legs. To the right, stretch the legs out, long legs. Bring the knees back in, over to the left. Stretch the legs, long legs. Keep the shoulders on the mat. Back to the center. One more, to the right, knees to chest, and then to the left, and stretch. And then come back to your neutral position, hands around the knees, and have that rock and roll. The feet flat onto the mat, raise up with your right leg, cross the foot over the left knee, flex the foot, so toes up pointing to the ceiling, Either stay here or lifting that left leg through the triangle with your right hand and we draw it. So into the hips, great posture for sciatica. Just have that lovely stretch. And 
and then release the left foot down. We'll do exactly the same with the right left leg, so leg, leg up. Ankle across the knee, we flex the foot, toes to the ceiling, keeping that knee nice and safe. Either staying here or lifting up right leg through the triangle and draw it. And then come back to neutral. The feet flat onto the mat, we're just going to roll over to the side. I'm going to come up into a seated <coughs> cross legged position if it serves you well. Or straight legs as Malcolm is doing. Just going to work into the lateral sides of the body. So taking your left arm all the way up, stretch it up. And walk away with your opposite fingers and have that nice lateral stretch. We may find this stretch later on again in our trikonasana, if we do our trikonasana. So you can see it's a real side stretch, not coming forward at all, it takes it into the back. So lift up your heart and stretch. And then we do exactly the same with the other side, lengthen up and we stretch. So walk the fingertips away as far as you want and just feel that stretch from the hip right through to those fingertips. And then we do one more. Again, walking the hands as far away as we want to get our maximum stretch. See what's happening in the body. And then up again and over again and stretch. And then slowly come back to neutral. Take your fingertips behind you, lengthen up through the spine and lift the arms up. They may only go a little bit away from your buttocks, doesn't matter, just lift up. Really opening up the chest, opening up the shoulders. I'm going to do two more, tummies in. And then this is the last one. And then we release. We're just going to open that chest a little bit more. So bring your arms into angel arms. And then bring the elbows together and the hands together. They may not meet, it doesn't matter. Just aim to guide them in that direction. Then inhale, we open, really expanding the chest, drawing the shoulder blades back, and exhale, we close. I want you to think about the expansion of that chest, really working into the lungs, really opening our area up, which tend to close it off a lot by bending forward. Opening up, really opening up into that chest area. Going to do two more. And then this is the last one, and we'll bring it together. Take your arms long in front of you. Take your right elbow over your left. Give yourself a nice warm hug. And then long arms in front, left over right, and give yourself another warm hug. And now we're moving into all fours. So coming into all fours, hands under shoulders, knees under hips. And we all know this is the favorite one. We're going to gaze up with the eyes and lift up with the buttocks when we have a back bend going on. And then on the exhale, we'll round the back and gaze to the middle. And we'll flare into this movement, just being aware of the articulation of the spine. And then we're going to do three more. And then this is the last one. Remaining in the same position, take your left arm all the way up and stretch, open that chest again, and then bring it back down again. Two more, lift, and bring it back down. Inhale, lift, and bring it back down. And then we do exactly the same with the opposite arm, lift it up, and bring it back down, lift it up, back down, and then one more, lift up, and back down. 
So moving your hips back now, we're into child posture. Super long arms in front. Keeping those arms super long. Anchor your hands to the mat as if they're stuck with glue. Onto your knees. Tuck your toes. Lift your knees. We exhale into down facing dog. So our hamstrings have not been warmed up very much, so maybe we want to walk that dog. So maybe just bend one leg, bend the other. And just have a nice fluid little walk in down facing dog. Just moving as much as you want to. And then of course you can with your hips. So just feel some fluidity in the hips as well. And when your body feels it wants to accept this downward facing dog, we'll draw the heels back and down towards the mat, the head hanging in between the upper arms. If you have tight hamstrings, then perhaps bend both knees, keep the back nice and long, and take the hamstrings out of the equation. So whichever posture you want in your downward facing dog, we're going to take two more breaths. And then we're going to bring the knees down to the mat, untuck the toes, and return to child posture. So just going to add on a little plank. Remember, you can just come back into laying on your tummies if it's all too intense. So super long arms. Again, it's very important that you have this armpit stretch onto the knees. Tuck the toes, lift the knees, we exhale, we're in downward facing dog again. Look at your toes, come onto your tippy toes, float your shoulders over the wrist, push your heels away, engage the plank too much, just pop your whole belly down onto the mat. And then exhale back to downward facing dog. And then we tippy toes, Inhale into the plank, shoulders over the wrist, push the heels away. You can also pop your knees down if it's a bit too intense. Lift up the ankles and have half plank. So lots of varieties. Back to downward facing dog. And do one more. Inhale into your plank or knees down or just lay the whole belly down, whichever you want. Exhale back to dog. And then we'll all Pop ourselves into child posture again. Find our breath. Super long arms. Same sequence, we're adding on. Coming on to your knees. Tuck your toes. Lift your knees. Exhale, drop. Inhale, plank, knees down, belly down. Hands remain under the shoulders, elbows, tuck into the ribs. We lift the chest and the head and start to push through the hands, rising through the cobra back bend onto the knees. Tuck the toes, lift the knees, we're back in down facing down. You can, of course, Remain in child, so I'll explain that movement as well. So again, back into plank. Knees down, belly down. Elbows in. Rising through the cobra. And you can just come into child posture and stay there. Or downward facing dog. And then we'll take a walk forward to the fingertips. Bend your knees to rise and rise all the way up. We're just going to add another component to that flow and then you'll have a whole sun salutation. So inhale the arms all the way up. Exhale, bend your knees and bring your fingertips to the earth. And some of you will place your hands on your shins, straight legs, and straight back looking forward. 
some of you with super flexi hamstrings may have your fingertips on the earth. And then we exhale, take a bow. So bend your knees, wide arms, inhale, lift you up. And exhale back to Santa City. Try that twice more. So inhale, lift. Exhale, bend your knees, even if it's only a tiny bit. And now we're going to lift the gaze up, spinal extension, look forward, so hands on shins or hands on mat. Straight back, straight legs. Exhale, take your bow. Bend your knees, we're rising, inhale, lift you up. And exhale back to some city. Let's do that one more time and then we'll start to add on again. So inhale is a lift. Bend your knees, See, even if it's only micro bending, protect your spine, take the bow. Then the spine of extension, hands on shins, all that looking forward. Exhale, take your bow. Bend your knees. Inhale is the rise. And exhale back to summer city. Okay, we're going to add it all together. And then we'll do one classic one with the hold and downward facing dog. So we inhale, lift you up. Exhale, bend the knees or micro bend them. Swan down. Side of extension, looking forward, straight legs, hands on chin or mat. Exhale, take your bow. Bend your knees, place your hands flat onto the mat, walk yourself back into that plank. Or half plank. Or lay the belly down. All the way down to the mat through your plank, elbows in, rising through the cobra of the back bend. Onto the knees, tuck the toes, lift the knees, we exhale down facing down. Take the walk forward, as soon as we arrive, lift the gaze, spinal extension, hands on shins, hands on mat, whichever is appropriate. Exhale, take your bow, bend your knees, engage the core, we're rising. Okay, so the next time we do this, classically, we stay in downward facing dog for five breaths. That's too intense, pop yourself into child posture. So inhale, lift you up. Exhale, swan dive. Final extension, gaze forward, straight legs, straight back. Hands can be on shins. Bending the knees, hands flat. Walk back to plank. Through the plank. Down laying on the mat, elbows in. Rising through the cobra back bend. Use your knees, tuck your toes, lift your knees and exhale, down facing dog. The five breaths here. We focus on your down facing dog. You can pop your knees onto the mat and go into child. Four. Three. Two. One, we're walking forward, spinal extension, straight legs, straight back, shins off, mat with the hands. Exhale, take your bow, bend your knees if you need to, bend your knees to rise. All the way up, and exhale back. So we now have that full sun salutation. I'm going to turn myself around, I'm going to do exactly the same, but you'll see it from a different angle. You can stay and watch if you want to. And then we're going to do four rounds of it, holding five breaths in downward facing dog. I'm just going to turn a different way so that you may want to see what's been happening. And feel. So inhale is a lift. Exhale, bend the knees, one dive. Find an extension, either hands on shins or hands on mat. Bend the knees. Walk your feet back to your plank. 
Then we can have a stock release down through the plank, elbows in, rising through the cobra, through the knees, and exhale into dog. So five breaths, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, pull the navel back to the spine. Inhale, exhale, remember you can pop your knees down and go into child posture to two in tens. Inhale, exhale, and then this is the last one, inhale, Exhale, walk your feet forward, final extension, either hands on shins or hands on mats, lift the gaze, micro bend the knees or deeply bend the knees, take your bow, bend your knees, inhale the arms all the way up, and exhale back to some sitting. Okay, three more rounds. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, spinal. Exhale, bow. Hands flat, bend knees. Inhale, plank. Bring the belly down. Those who know up dog can do that also. Elbows in, rising. If you know your up dog, strong arms, lift the knees, up dog. Exhale, back to down dog. Five breaths or child posture. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last breath. Take the walk forward. Remember the spinal extension, so hands on shins or hands on mat, look forward. Take the bow, bend the knees subtly. Bend the knees, engage the core, rising. And exhale back to some sitting. We can have a breath. How many more we've got to do? Two more. Okay. Such a great practice. Just feel every posture. It's very slow. Inhale, exhale, inhale, spinal extension, exhale, take your back, bend your knees, especially if you have back issues, this forward bend is quite intense, bend your knees, hands flat, walk back to plank, through the plank, lay the belly down, elbows in, through the cobra, or we lift the knees, up dog, back to down dog, back to five breaths, or child, inhale, exhale, one, two, three, Four. And five, we're taking the walk all the way forward, spinal extension, hands on shins or hands on mat. Exhale, take your bow. Bend your knees. Inhale, rising. And exhale back to sun sitting. I'm going to give you the sun quick words. So, Ikam, rising up. Dwe, Swanna. Trinigeda. Chabari is the plank. Release down. Panjur is the rising. Through the knees, back to dog. Chat is the dog. Five breaths. Two. 
two more breaths, navel in. Take the walk forward, thigh with extension, looking forward. Ashto, take your bow. Bend the knees. Navarus are rising. Uh, back to your Samasiti. Good work, guys. So we're going to take some nice um, stretches again. There will be forward bends. So we're going to open the legs nice and wide. We're going to forward bend from these hip flexors. So no rounding of the back. We're going to take a straight back. So have your hands in your hip flexors and take a straight back bow. You may have to bend your knees. That's per perfectly acceptable if you want to bend your knees. We're going to bring the fingertips to the mat. Take a long, deep inhale, look forward, spinal extension. Again, look forward. Exhale, bowing into the mat. Now bend your knees as much as you need to. And once you're down, aim to straighten your legs. So think about your quadriceps. So think about the flesh above your kneecaps and literally suck that flesh up towards the bone. And then take another deeper bow. So really assisting the hamstring opening by contracting the opposing muscle group. Don't push the back of the knees out. Keep softness in the back of the knees. And then fingertips on the mat, spinal extension, we look forward. We bend the knees deeply to rise, hands on hips, and we rise up. We're going to keep those hands on the hips this time. We're going to round the back, but first we'll have a straight back. So take an inhale, exhale, straight back. And now we'll round the back. And we can look at our quadriceps and lift up the flesh from above the knees. Engage those thighs. Couple more breaths. And then bend the knees, deeply bend the knees, we rise all the way up and back to our position. We're going to do some nice little warriors now. We've had quite a lot of hip opening and a lot of forward and backward bends. We're just going to work into some uh, warriors and trigonas now. So nice wide legs. And remember that first stretch? We're going to find it again. So arms up and turn your Right foot out a full 90 degrees and turn the back foot slightly in. So bend that knee a little bit and just have a little bit of movement in the knee first of all, and then straighten the leg. But to find that stretch we had at the beginning, we're just gonna place one hand on the thigh and lift the other arm up. And we're not gonna come forward because then it'll play around in the spine. So we wanna lift up that chest. Remember the chest opening. And you can bend your knee if you want to. We're going to slide down that thigh. And the bottom hip comes forward and the back hip goes back. And we slide a little bit more, maybe. Remember, you can bend that knee if it's all a bit too much. There's no rules in yoga. Just one more breath. And a subtle bend of that knee will bring you back up. Back to the center. We'll do exactly the same with the other one. So we'll just swivel that front foot out. We'll turn that back foot in slightly, have a little movement in the knee. And then we'll take our trick and ask. So hang on thigh first of all, so that we know that we've got the side stretch. And then if we want to, we go a little bit deeper. Bottom foot forward, back hip back. Remember, you can slightly bend that knee if it's all a bit too tense. Couple more breaths. And then a subtle bend of the knee keeps the spine nice and safe as we rise up. And we're back to our nice stretch. <clears throat> we're going to go into warrior two. So arms up. Right foot does a full 90 degrees, back foot turns in. 
And we're going to bend that knee. And as we bend that knee, we're going to put power through this back leg. You can come this way as well, Mark, if you want. You can come on yourself, Mark, if you want. Okay, that's good. So the front knee is tracking over the ankle. The back leg is super strong. If it's all too much in your arms, just bring one arm behind you. And just soften that shoulder area. You can even bring both arms behind you. So we're going to really focus on the bottom area. Knee tracks over ankle. Back leg super strong. Take a long, deep inhale. Exhale, go deeper if you want to. Remember, it's a lunge, so be careful. And then we gaze at the fingertips that are raised at his foot. And then we come back to the center, palms down, exactly the same in the opposite direction. So we swivel, we walk the foot away, we check the knees, tracking over the ankle. You think about this back leg being super strong, pushing through the outer edges of the back foot. And easy breathing. And we gaze to those front fingers. Now, if the arm at the back is a little bit too um, involved, you can always pop that hand behind you. You'll see that Malcolm has a little bit of difficulty in that, so he could always pop his arm behind him if he wanted to, which might make that chest opening a little bit better for him. Nice, easy breathing. And then we inhale, rise up, and exhale back down. We're going to do the same warrior two, but we're going to have a little dance with it. So arms up. Soften the shoulders, right foot, full 90 degrees, back foot turns in, we're in warrior two. We're looking at the fingertips at the front. We've got a strong leg at the back. This back arm's gonna place on our back thigh. So we're just gonna feel the connection of the palm of the hand on the back thigh. Turn the front hand to the ceiling that we're looking at. And as we lift that front hand up, we're gonna slide down the back of the thigh. Remember that first stretch again, we're finding those stretches again, the front knee bends, nice easy breathing. Then inhale back to your warrior two, exhale into it, and then inhale back to the center. Exactly the same, arms up, we swivel, we check our alignment, we take time, there's no rush. Okay, the back hand comes to the back thigh. The front hand looks to the ceiling. And we lift it up. As we bend the knee, the knee tends to want to straight and don't let it. Just bend that front knee and stretch. Dancing that warrior. And inhale back to the center. Exhale back into your warrior two. And then inhale back. Hands down by the side of the body. One final standing one, and then we'll come back down onto the mat. So arms up, turn that right foot that full 90 degrees again, bend the knee, and I'm going to take this front elbow on top of the knee. And you can pop this back hand onto the hip. Now, this is not a ledge to lean on, <laughs> it's just aesthetically there for us to place our elbow on. The back leg is still super strong. You can have the back hand on the back hip. We open up the chest as we did at the beginning. And if you want to, you can stretch away with that top arm and look to the fingertips. One more breath. And then inhale as we rise up, back to the center, and exactly the same. Take your time, there's no rush. Bend the knee. Elbow aesthetically just, we should be able to move it away and still have the same position. And on hip for option one, or stretch it in front of you, and then gaze to the feet if you want to watch it stretch. Nice, easy breathing. And then inhale all the way back up and exhale down. And then bring the feet together. Good work. We're going to do two more sun salutations before we go down on the mat. Or you're just going to sit on the mat and relax and watch us. Or you're going to join us, whichever. If you go that way, I'll move to the first place. So, 
the two come to be max. So inhale is the lift, so you can remember it. Exhale, bend the knees, one dive. Uh, you got extension, hands on shins or hands on mat. Exhale, take your bow. Bend your knees, hands flat, walk back into your plank. Remember, knees down or half plank. Exhale down, elbows tuck into the ribs. We rise up through the cobra, or perhaps lift the knee, deeper back bend, up dog. Exhale back to downward facing dog. Five breaths in downward facing dog, or pop yourself into child posture. One more breath. Take the walk forward. Find an extension. Straight back, straight legs, hands on shins or mat. Bend the knees as much as you need to. Take your bow. Bend your knees. Inhale is the rising. And exhale back to summer city. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, final. Exhale, bow. Bend the knees, hands flat, walk back into your plank. Through the plank, lay the belly on the mat, rising through the cobra, use your knees or lift the knees, up dog. Back to down facing dog. Side breath, inhaling. Exhaling. Last breath. Take the walk forward. Final extension. Exhale, taking your bow. Bending your knees. Engage the core. Inhale and the rise. And exhale back to your sun sitting. Okay, we're going to lay down on the mats now. So arms up. Bend the knees, one down. Through the downward facing dog, through the plank, and just lay down on your mat with your hands underneath your forehead, one on top of you. Just allow the breath to soften a little bit. And then hands underneath the shoulders, we're rising through the cobra again. We're going to come into long legged seated position. So, just a few final stretches. We're going to I'm going to come onto my side so you can see that I don't round my back. If I round with my back, I'll fall on this lumbar area. I don't want to do that. So, I'm going to draw my right foot in and drop that knee open. Now just have a cushion underneath that knee, or if it's uncomfortable, just throw the leg away from you. So it doesn't have to be bent. And coming down through that long straight leg, we're going to inhale, lift up, lengthen up. I'm going to exhale with a straight back, looking forward. And then inhale as a lift. And exhale with that straight back, looking forward. And then inhale it again. And exhale one more time. And now this time when we lift, I want you to stretch up as if you can really touch the seam. Keep that stretch maintained. Flex the front foot. Exhale and place your hands wherever they lay. They may lay on the floor, high up by the thigh. They may lay down by the calf. If you're near your toes, why not grab hold of them? And then we lift up and lengthen again through that spine. And we keep our gaze forward as we 
go into the hamstring stretching. So the back is straight, not rounded. And we keep this back straight by looking forward. Once you bow your head, you go right into that lumbar. So keep looking forward. Let the breath lift you up. And let the exhale take you deeper. You can bend that for a knee. And then slowly release. Bringing that knee back in again. Same plan with the opposite leg. Remember, if it's uncomfortable to have this position, you can throw the leg out. We're coming down through the front leg. Inhale is the lift. Exhale is the lift. Inhale, lift. Exhale, length. Inhale, lift. And exhale, length. And then we're going to lift up as high as we can. So the higher you lift up, the more chance you have of a forward bend. Take an inhale, lift it up. Exhale, hands lay wherever they lay. They may be up here, that's still great. They may be down here. You may even have hold of your toes, who knows? Lengthen up through the chest and exhale, take your bow. Keep your gaze forward. Let the breath lift you up on the inhale, lengthen. And then on the exhale, you'll go that little bit deeper. One more breath. And then slowly we'll rise all the way up. And we'll bring that leg back in again. I'm going to finish with a final twist. So you can have a straight leg twist like Malcolm's going to do. Just put one hand over the side, both hands over the side. I'm going to take my right foot across my left leg. This foot at the bottom is going to be flexed. I'm going to draw on that knee and lengthen up. So keeping that spine straight before I twist, take my right hand behind my right buttock and take my left arm around the knee. Take an inhale and lengthen on the exhale and twist. Inhale, grow tall, and exhale, twist. And then slowly back to the center, nice long legs, or straight legs, you're just twisting. Pop that foot over, we lengthen up, find that space and strength in the back. Left fingertips behind left buttocks, take an inhale, lengthen up, and exhale, take your twist. Think about the spine being tall and exhale, twisting. And then we'll come back to the center. And from here, we're just going to lay down on our mats. Let's lay down on your mats. <clears throat> Feet flat onto the mat. I'm just going to draw that right knee into the chest again, give it a good long squeeze. Let the back settle down. Stretch the right leg up to the ceiling with a nice little length. And let's do the same with the left. I draw the left knee in, give it a nice squeeze. And again, left leg straight up to the ceiling. And then place that left foot down. So your right arm leaves the mat and we almost touch the ceiling with the right fingers. So lift the right shoulder off the mat and almost touch the ceiling with your right fingers. You're lifting that right shoulder off the mat and then we soften it back down again. Same with the left, we reach up to the ceiling and lift the left shoulder off the mat, we stretching up and then release. And then both arms up and both shoulders up, my head remains on the mat, just releasing those shoulders from the work that might have been done and then release down. And you're going to pop yourself into Shavasana, so nice long legs, or you can leave your feet flat onto the mat. Well done, guys. Soften the shoulders. Turn the palms to the ceiling. So there were Ashtanga sun salutations that you practiced. And if you can do about six of those a day, 
that's quite a nice little workout for the whole body. I want you to rest the body now. It deserves a rest and allow yourself to rest. So feel the back of the head resting on the mat. Soften your shoulders. They may still be quite tense. Soften the shoulders. And then soften the arms, the wrists, and the fingers. Allow the upper back to relax. The lower back. The hips and the buttocks. Be aware of the breath in your heart center and in the abdomen. And then allow the legs to relax. Big thigh muscles, knees, calves, ankles, feet, and toes. So just scan the body one more time and just have a nice big sigh. So take a long deep inhale. Open the mouth. Let's do that one more time. Inhale. Open the mouth. So feel free to stay here as long as you like, as long as the body requires you to. I'm going to come up to seated to say goodbye. The fingertips turn down onto the mat, feet flat onto the mat, and we roll over to our right, coming up into any comfortable seated position. Shoulders back. So thank you very much for joining both Malcolm and myself in your stretch and Ashtanga sun salutations. Please let me know any requests that you may have to do different things, I'm only here to guide you. Thank you for joining. Namaste.